All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson is going to be for you Old Testament guys. You know, IUIC is the new flavor of the week as far as this New uh, Testament um, madness. All right, we're we're in a grace period where we gotta get our stuff together together spiritually, all right, to be ready for the wedding. And a lot of you guys, you got ketchup stains, and uh, juice stains, wine stains all over your garment. Okay, this is a few things to consider for you. Um, new, we're in the New Testament junkies, but this ain't for y'all anyway. This is for the new listeners. All right, so you won't get confused. All right, we're not under the new covenant because when you go to Hebrews 8, which Lord will not get, we're not, we won't be teaching in the kingdom of heaven under the new uh, covenant. So this is Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Let's get this def let's get the definition of captivity. Let's go to the uh, online etymology dictionary just real quick. Right, captivity state of being a prisoner we're not under the new covenant right now you have a driver's license I had to go cast a check last week and I had to show my driver's license and my so-called social security card you have a birth certificate that's the state of being a prisoner you're not free yeah you're free all right here in America to be a freak all right, caught, taken prisoner. That's what happened to all the 12 tribes, even Reuben, okay? Because Reuben likes to say, oh, we're unconquered. No, <laughs> you got caught, okay? Esau, Edom took your land, and you've been reserved to the Seminole Hard Rock Casino between Broward County and Miami-Dade County, okay? It says to take hold, seize, all right? We're still in this man's hands to this day. You can go to Jeremiah 15, verse 33. All right. Let's get that after I get this uh, Baruch, Lord willing. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. We're scattered across the four corners of the earth, namely here in North, Central, and South America for a reproach and a curse. Aren't we a proverb and a byword and a reproach among these nations? We go into their stores and they look at us like we're about to steal something. We're not in the New Testament. And to be subject to payments, you got you either gonna pay the rent or the mortgage, you gotta pay the light bill, the water bill, the cell phone bill, taxes on this, taxes on that. You got travel taxes, you got taxes on if you take the um carpool lane, going to work. So we're subject to payments. According to all the iniquities, the sins of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. So this is our fault while we're in this predicament right now. And you can you can read 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Lamentations to figure out why we went off and how we did it. So we're yet, we're yet this day in our captivity. Now let's go to, um, let me pull up another tab right quick, get that Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50 and verse 33. We would not be under the hands of our oppressors if we were in the, if we were in the new covenant. That doesn't make any sense. You got these type, these guys are totally bugged out. And if you want to follow them, that's on you. You be confused, okay? But this is for the ones who are sincere. Jeremiah fifteen and thirty three. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Okay, there was a split after King Solomon died. All right, it says we're oppressed together. We're oppressed together here in. Um, North America, all right, America, Babylon the Great. And also you got captivities in Central and South America. Look look at Mexico with uh, Issacar, the so-called Mexicans. They got a JJ, a female JJ as a president. That's oppression. It's not a so-called Mexican man ruling over you so-called Mexicans in Mexico. So you're oppressed. And all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. They like to say, oh, go back to Africa, which we're not from Africa. Okay, 
what they like to say, go back to Africa. But hey, we're still here to this day because if we left, this place would this, this place would really be finished, man. All right, the Northern Kingdom is holding this place, so we're oppressed together. All right, oppression isn't something we that we will experience in the New Testament coming up. Let's get a know. Proverbs 22 and 7. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. So-called black people can't even get a loan for a business or a house. They have to come out of their own pockets. And if they do, it's going to take a long time, and they have to have top-notch credit. Meanwhile, a guy that just came over here from Libya can get a business loan just like that. Okay? This is part of the curses, man. The borrower is servant to the lender. Ain't no Negroes... I, Jay-Z is not handing out loan business loans. Michael Jordan, Richard Johnson, all these so-called black billionaires are not handing out loans to so-called black Spanish and Native Americans and other nations. Okay? They're, they're just niggas with a little bit of money. Alright? So we're still borrowing. Alright? They got these... They, hey, they got... You, you look on YouTube, they got these apps where you can borrow $200 to your payday. We're not going to be... Borrowing money in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 13. And the Lord shall make the, this is the blessings. Okay. Now, ask yourself this question. Deuteronomy 28 and 13. And the Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. It's not Jehovah. Okay. Let's just get that uh, cleared away. And the Lord shall make thee the head. And not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy power, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, the whole nation would have to do that in order for us to be the head and not the tail. But hey, through the grace and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shad is a remnant, and then in the kingdom of heaven, the ones that are coming back. They're going to be the head. But right now, the JJs are the head and we're the tail. When you see so-called Mexicans, you see so-called Mexicans in your residence cutting grass every day, digging holes and trenches, they're not at the head, man. Okay, you see them working in hotels. You see the so-called black man working in construction. We're doing service jobs. We're doing service jobs going up to these rich Edomite neighborhoods. We're not the head right now. So what are these guys talking about? We still have to go work jobs or you got a business, whatever you got to do. And you, if you got a business, that don't mean you're free. You still got to pay taxes on that. Another point. Lamentations 4. Lamentations 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. The, our people are still voting there won't be any voting in the kingdom of heaven under the New Testament. All right, we will have a new mind, a refreshed mind. Like it says in Revelation 21, kinos, refreshed. Our people still uh, depending on this place to save them. Verse 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles. Esau... When you look at uh, these countries that are ran by Esau, namely over there in Europe, there's an eagle that's on the um, on the flag. I think I'm thinking of one of them. Um, what's that? Uh, shoot, Germany. All right. Um, there's another one. Uh, I want to say I want to say Poland. All right. But Esau is like that eagle, man. It says. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. And hey, they 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 lurk and watch our steps, man, in the form of the police police force. All right, so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans are still getting harassed by the police. They're still getting harassed by their oppressors, their persecutors. All right, in the kingdom of heaven, we'll, we we will be ruling with a rod of iron. That hasn't happened yet. That hasn't happened yet. That's why the scriptures say, Blessed is he that readeth. Another one. Zechariah 9 and 16. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. This goes into those JJs being over there in, in the land of Israel that got created under the Balfour Declaration. 
1948. So you're telling me that the God of the Bible is uh, validating the Balfour Declaration and we're in the New Testament right now? Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, man. You got those heathens still over there. You got Netanyahu right now planning on his next move, man. So how in the hell are we in the New Testament, man? You guys are gone. I got another one in Lamentations. <clears throat> Lamentations 4 and verse 5. Just real quick. <clears throat> I didn't intend us to make this long. Lamentations 4 and 5. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. We came from a goodly heritage, as it says in the scriptures. All right? When you think about Moses, okay? Then you think about the prophets like Samuel. All right? Mordecai and then leading up to King David, King Solomon, King Jehoshaphat, King Asa, King Hezekiah, Yahawashai. We're a nation of kings and priests, but now, due to our disobedience, they are, we are desolate in the streets. You got these little wild children out here just in the streets with the blickies letting off the biscuit, man. That's not that's not a sign of the New Testament, man. For they that were brought up in scarlet embrace dung hills. Okay, our people are living in dung hills. When you look at the Native Americans up there in um, the Lakota Nation, do you think they're under the New Testament? They're living in the worst conditions. It's not like they can just get in their car and go to Kroger and go get a sub sandwich. They live in places where they got to go five, ten miles to even get some water. And they're on the reservation. All right, the tribe of Gad is not in the kingdom of heaven along with the other 11 tribes, man. And our people embrace the hood. They get tattoos which is going off on their hood, throwing up the hood, throwing up the set. We wouldn't be doing that in the New Testament. Our people would not be doing that in the New Testament. Esau has the blessing. I mean, Esau has the blessing of the sword and the fatness of the earth. You go to any major suburban city, like you go to Dallas, Texas. It's gonna be a place in Dallas, Texas where it's just an Edomite neighborhood and they're gonna be looking at you crazy if you go through their neighborhood. You better be cutting their grass or dropping off something in a, in a work van, okay? They still There's still sundown towns out here, all right? So I don't know what, what, what you guys are talking about, man. You guys are bugged out. And if you believe this, this is that's on you, man, all right? Now I got um just one more to close it on out. Revelation 20, 1 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God, the Most High, is with men. You hear that, ladies? Men. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Verse 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Now let's, let's stop right there. Let's go back to the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and verses uh, 66. The Most High will wipe away our tears. Deuteronomy 28 and... Deuteronomy 28 and verses um man Deuteronomy 20 and verse 64 and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people this goes into the Israelite foreigners for you pro-black Israelites too from the one end of the earth unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods whom neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone our people into Catholicism Christianity Islam even even Buddhism all right and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, no matter where we go at, that you got the cities over there, the Israelites in India. And you know, India has that caste system based on society, and they're at the bottom. All right? Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind. We're still going to be sorrowful in, the, in this captivity under this beast system, man. All right, we have point. The, the, the scriptures do talk about the fruits of the spirit, but for the most part, we're sighing and crying. The ones that are in the right state of mind, not you guys that think you're in the New Testament. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Hey, Tupac had a song called "Death Around the Corner." 
All right, we're not in the New Testament right now, man. All right, I mean, I keep saying New Testament, Salaki, the New Covenant. Okay, we're not under the New Covenant, excuse me. Slip of the tongue, not a slip in the heart. We're not under the New Covenant, excuse me. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and thou and shalt have none assurance of thy life. So now under the New Covenant, <clears throat> it says, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. These are talking about Israelites who were scattered. All right, starting with the elect, and there shall be no more death. There won't be no more death for Israelites. There's Israelites dropping right now. Fat Man Scoop just dropped dead on the stage. Rich Homie Quan dropped dead of a so-called overdose. Who else died this week that was a celebrity? Uh, uh, Frankie Beverly from Frankie Beverly and Maze. He wouldn't drop dead if he was in the New Covenant. When he comes back, all right? Neither sorrow nor crying. So even Tupac had a song called No More Pain. Neither should I be any more neither should I be any more pain, but the former things are passed away. Alright, we're still waiting for the former things to be passed away. Okay? So that's basically it. I mean, you can read Hebrews 8 and 8 and uh Jeremiah 31 and 31, but we're not in the new covenant. Alright, these are just scriptures to consider. Alright, things that make you go, hmm. Alright, we're not in the new covenant. Alright, don't believe these uh these uh these false prophets out here and I got one more let's go to um, let's get a consequence for tell, telling lies all right these guys keep playing games babe but the Lord got them under a strong delusion matter of fact I got two more scriptures man you know you get mad at these guys but this is what the Lord said even consider con concerning towards these uh Israelites that say they Israelites man you Yahweh been Yahweh followers you followers of IUIC uh, ISUPK, GLCC, you follow these cults of personality guys, Sakari, Genesis, that say that we're in the new covenant. And they can sound as smart as they want to, but the scriptures say, Blessed is he that readeth. I also, Isaiah 66 and 4, I also will choose their delusions. Like you guys are under a strong delusion that you should believe a lie, that you believe in the new covenant. And, and sooner or later, it's going to be that guy from Mississippi. And that little short dummy that was with him foaming at the mouth on the highways and byways. I'm sure they're going to come back because everybody believes in the uh, new covenant, that they're in the new covenant right now. I also would choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. You, you were called by Yahweh Bashim al Shah, but you guys are talking about Christ all the damn time. It's not the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. When I spake, how did he speak? Those prophets. Starting with uh, Apostle Tahar and the men on down a great millstone in the affiliate camps. They did not hear me. Y'all some haters, man. Y'all hating y'all brothers, man. Y'all do this, y'all do that. And it can't be confirmed that we do what you say we're doing. But they did evil before my eyes, teaching false doctrine. And choose that, choose that in which I delighted not. You're supposed to feed them with knowledge and understanding. Like it says in Jeremiah 3 and 15. All right. And I believe I have one more, but um, I'm just going to close out on that. You know, I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 13. I'm sorry. Deuteronomy 13 and 5. That's the one I wanted to get. Just one more. Because there's a consequence. And if you want to listen to these guys, there's a consequence for you too. Right? We don't want to be uh, caught up in that lake of fire, man. But that's what's going to happen. All right? To you ones who believe in lies and want to teach lies. Deuteronomy 13 and 5, and that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. So you knew, you knew covenant, we're in the new covenant, guys, keep it up. This is going to be your end result. You see that word right here? D-E-A-T-H. Continuing on, it says, because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord, your power. Like I said, we're in the grace period, man. All right, we will be perfected if we are in a new covenant right now. You still, we still got ailments. Hell, I had a, a leg injury last week, but we're supposed to be in, in the uh, new covenant. Get the hell out of here. Because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord, your power, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. These are the same rebellious Israelites that came out of Egypt and was murmuring to Moses. But really, they were murmuring to the Heavenly Father. And redeem you out of the house of bondage, to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy power commanded thee to walk in, so shalt thou put the evil away from the mystery. 
and the evil will be put away, all right? Because these false prophets got to go. So with that, I want to say Shalom.